Bozeman Trail's historical significance may seem relatively small when viewed in the broader context of the American West. With a lifespan of just four years, grasping its true impact requires seeking a greater understanding of the influences and events during the 19th century history of the American West. At the beginning of the 19th century, America was still finding its place in the world stage and facing competition for territorial control in North America. There are now 16 states. Vermont, Kentucky, and Tennessee are added to the original 13 colonies. U.S. territory stops at the Mississippi River. The Vice President Aaron Burr of the United States kills Alexander Hamilton in a duel. Thomas Jefferson outlaws foreign importation of slaves. France holds title to the Louisiana Territory. Spain, the Southwest and Florida, and Britain has a tenuous hold on the fur trade in the Pacific Northwest, while indigenous native populations occupied the vast land. Despite this, American presidents recognized the potential benefits of westward expansion to ensure the country's security and economic development. Numerous events, such as the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, Mexico's independence in 1821 and the subsequent Mexican-American War in 1846, plus the establishment of the border with Canada at the 49th parallel above the western states, framed the geographical outline of the emerging country. Free land in Oregon country as well as the discovery of gold fueled western migration. The Oregon Trail, the California Trail, and other corridors facilitated westward expansion attracting pioneers seeking new opportunities and wealth. Welcome to our comprehensive three-part series delving into the profound influence of this often overlooked trail on the closing chapter of the Northern Plains during the mid to late 1800s. In this first installment, we will center our attention on the preliminary developments leading up to the trail's establishment, offering a backdrop to the pivotal events that paved the way for its creation. Moving forward, our second episode will immerse you in the intricacies of the efforts by John Bozeman and John Jacobs as they charted the trail's course. Concluding our journey, our final episode will transport you to the sites along the trail where conflicts erupted. Amidst the rush to Montana for gold, the Bozeman Trail emerged as a corridor through the territory occupied by Native American tribes. The discovery of gold in Montana led to a search for a direct route to this land, and John Bozeman saw an opportunity to guide gold seekers to the fields. The trail marked the beginning of the end for the nomadic lifestyle of the Northern Plains Indians, who relied heavily on buffalo herds for their sustenance. The Bozeman Trail became the site of a final confrontation between the United States development and the Northern Plains Indian tribes. Our tale of the Bozeman Trail begins near the historic town of Virginia City, Montana. It all started on May 26, 1863, when Bill Fairweather and Henry Edgar found gold near Alder Creek. Word of their discovery spread quickly, and soon a mining district was established to govern individual gold claims. The rush of prospectors and fortune seekers transformed the area into a gold boom town, attracting over 5,000 people in just a few weeks. With the broader region known as 14 Mile City, housing more than 10,000 residents by 1864. Virginia City, with approximately 1,200 buildings in 1868, became a bustling center of culture and commerce, home to diverse communities including Euro-Americans, Chinese, Lemmy Shoshone Indians, Mexicans, and African Americans. Designated as the territorial capital in 1865, Virginia City boasted the first territorial bank, first newspaper, first public school, and served as a central hub for stagecoach travel. It even embraced modern technology with the arrival of the telegraph in 1866. However, amidst the growth and prosperity, lawless conditions led to robberies, gunfights, and vigilante group hangings, adding a vibrant yet violent chapter to the town's history. But like many Western gold boom towns, the promise of mining claims eventually faded, and by the early 1870s, the population dwindled to a few hundred people, prompting the relocation of the territorial capital to Helena, Montana. 
The Bozeman Trail played a crucial role in connecting the Oregon Trail to Montana's gold fields, becoming a lifeline for travelers seeking opportunities in remote mining camps and settlements. Yet it also triggered conflicts between the federal government and the Northern Plains Indians, resulting in over a decade of warfare that reshaped their relationship. The Bozeman Trail holds a significant place in American history, standing as the last frontier among the great Western Gold Rush trails. In the following parts of this series, we will explore the creation of the trail, the conflicts that ensued, and the lasting cultural impact it had on the Northern Plains. Join our next episode as we continue to uncover the fascinating journey of the Bozeman Trail and its profound influence on the American West. To learn more about the history of the Bozeman Trail and the surrounding areas, visit our museums, designated historic sites, and national historic landmarks along the trail corridor in Montana and Wyoming. You can also explore the Bozeman Trail Travel Guide on the Fort Phil Kearney Bozeman Trail Association website at fortphilkearney.com and get out and discover your trail with the Oregon California Trails Association.